Hey everybody, here goes another video for you. Um, this here is Diana. Um, she is the twin sister. Actually, she's a triplet to my uh, other bottle, Charlotte, which was in a video, I think two videos previous to this one. I am preparing her face with the collagen um, filler by Lauren's. And I am prepping her eyelids with the Wet n Wild primer. And I'm going here for, she, she's such an innocent soul that um, she reminded me a lot of the Little Mermaid character, um, Ariel. So I went for um, a an eyeshadow look that would depict this uh, Disney character. Uh, but it's also at the same time quite sexy. And you know, all of my eyeshadow looks pretty much are because women like to feel that way. So here with a concealer brush, I am taking this, uh, it's like a brownish uh, shadow stick. And that's just to provide a dark base. And you'll see the reason for that in a minute. The dark base is going to allow the colors, the powdered shadows that I use in that area to pop just like they look in the palette. And even darker you can get them to look if you layer them um, enough times. In this case, I layered each color about three times and I sandwiched them. And then of course, you know that I blend them with a clean brush. And here that's an e.l.f. Um, angled shadow brush. She's got small lid space. So my brushes had to be um, pretty tiny to get into the areas that I was um, working in. And here, of course, I'm working in her socket area. That's her higher socket where the socket bone begins. And I started with a very light, sort of like a pastel pinkish color and this is a BH Cosmetics palette that I am using again um, it's a great palette again I highly recommend it a person with hooded eyes needs mostly matte shades and this palette has that it does have some shimmers but mostly it is matte and so I'm pointing out a second pink shade and that would be like a I wouldn't say it's hot pink, it's a, just a regular pink shade. And that's going in her lower socket area, right under the pastelline pinkish color. And I blend that uh, with a clean uh, blending brush. I know I skipped that part, but it's important for me to mention that. You need to, as you apply, blend. And so that way it looks seamless and you don't have to worry about doing it all after you've applied all of your um, eyeshadows because it really becomes impossible to do it at that point. So apply your color, grab a clean brush, and blend. Which is when I see here, I didn't skip it, so you can see I've got a, a clean. And th those are my Echo Tool brushes. They are uh, have a brush on each side. They're, they're dual brushes. And also, um, the brush before that was the Angled Elf brush. And here I am picking a reddish pink. It's like a reddish orangey pink. And that's going to be, um, I'm packing that on her mobile lid. And with the brown base, or rather that's a, like a brownie beige cream stick base that's under that, that reddish orangey pinky color is going to pop just like it looks in the palette. So it's going to come out pretty pigmented. So that's a nice little trick to know if you want your, um, if you want your shadows to, to be very pigmented without having to layer them, you know, five or six times, then find a nice dark, uh, creamy base to put under it. Um, I do go ahead and, and I and I applied it three times anyway. 
and because this is on camera, the camera tends to take away a lot of the colors. You have to layer them several times. If this is putting on makeup to go out, you may not have to do it this many times. So as you can see, that mobile lit co color comes out to be sort of like an orangey, um, reddish pink. And um, here I point out what I'm going to be contouring with, and I'm going back into her socket to cut. So this is a really high cut crease look, and I love that look. I love eyeshadow looks where you have that contour or, or cut in your crease. I think that it, it shapes your eye pretty nicely, and it gives it a nice contour look if you will and so with a very dark purpley blue that's what that looked like to me I um towards the ends of the eye but in the socket area um begin to apply that color again I will go in with a clean brush and blend that out and that's a pencil brush by e.l.f. and that's what I'm using to do that and then I'll go back in and reapply and blend again. Excuse my husband there in the background. He was cooking while I was doing her makeup. And this was like a little girl's night hanging out here in, in my house, so I decided to do her makeup. And these are triplets, as I have promised. This is the second one of them. So there's a third to come next week. And then I will have all three of them done. So uh, going back in, uh, with a pencil brush, applying and blending. And what I used to blend um, in that tiny area was the same um, brush, the pencil brush, and also this angled, that's like an, an eyebrow or it can also be a uh, to apply eyeliner uh, brush, angled brush. And it's not synthetic, it's regular bristles. And again with the uh, pencil brush by Elf, going back in applying and then blending. You can see the intensity is building up. I chose a cat eye sort of, but it comes straight out, sort of shape. And that's because of her eye shape. Go back in and blending. And then I'm going to take a really, really dark blue and I'm just going to cut right into that purple. And so there's going to be like a harsh line um, right under the pur inside the purple. And that's going to be like a second cut right in the same area. I got pretty creative in my colors here because. I was going for a Disney character um, and the pigmentation and the colors have to be such as you see here. And going on to her brow bone, I chose a yellowish shimmery color to highlight her brow bone and also to blend the seams of the pastel pinkish color I used on her higher socket area. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here goes a um, reddish pink. <clears throat> Excuse me. The same reddish pink that I use on her mobile lid is going under her eyes. And she kind of got irritated there, so I couldn't do too much. Um, so I just applied just on the ends of her eye, and then I smoked it out just a little bit. So you can barely see it on camera, but she does have the um, reddish, orangey, pinky shade under her eyes, and then with the pencil brush, I blended that out and smoked it out just a small bit. Her eyes got really irritated, and that can happen, and if that happens um, to you or to a model that you're working on, try to just do it towards the ends of the eye. If not, just, it's not necessary, don't do it at all. There are some people who have very sensitive eyes, and she's one of them. Her sister is too. 
So, um, I was finally able to get some under there, but you still really can't see it too much on camera. Okay, here I choose a purple, and this is a glitter, and because she was so irritated by the eyeshadow, the powdered eyeshadows under the eye, I chose a purple, and this is a glitter by Ulta, uh, cream eyeshadow stick. Also could be used as an eyeliner, and it still irritated her a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I was able to do a little contouring under her eye. <laughs> she's laughing. She's uh, was very, very. Uh, she said it felt tickly. So I was able to just work, and then I'm taking a clean um, eyeliner brush, regular bristles, and blending out the purple eyeshadow stick or eyeliner stick, it's both. And now going into the tear, tear ducts, I'm, I chose a highlight color from my 60 shimmer, 60 color shimmer palette by Profusion. And that is like a very light gold, yellowy type of color. Um, and I mixed it with a cotton candy uh, shimmer. So I mixed both and I highlighted her inner corners of her eye. And this is the Exaggerate by Rimmel and I am mapping out and also I am um, coloring in and I am smudging uh, the, in, the insides of her top lashes and that's to provide some thickness. Um, she's very, very pale skinned and so her eyelashes are like mine, they're sparse and they're very light. And so to bring them out, I'm smudging that eyeliner in between her lashes. And also using it to map out the shape I was going to be looking to use when I got to my gel eyeliner, which I'm using here, the little black dress by Wet n Wild. And I don't really go for a winged eyeliner look it stops right where the eyeshadows um, right in the middle of the eyeshadows so it doesn't come all the way out uh, it's just very small it just extends very very uh, I would I would say so so tiny that you can't really even tell too much so just taking it very slightly past the eye not enough that you can call it a wing and then taking a clean um, synthetic paintbrush and uh, softening that up so that there are no harsh lines in the eyeliner. And then I'm doing her brows here with the NYX uh, eyebrow kit. And because she's so pale skinned uh, or pale toned, I use an ash, an ashy brown to um, fill in her brows and intensify them. I do not reshape them. I just intensify them a little bit and just neaten them up a little. And the brush that I'm using is by Essence of Beauty and this one here is a brush I don't even remember where I got that from. I think it was Ulta. And on one side is, is the spoolie and on the other side is the um, eyebrow brush and continuing to intensify and and uh, neaten up her, her brows and then combing the color right through now that brush is by Essence of Beauty okay, now both brows are done and here I'm going in with the Mega Impact by Rimmel Mascara and I'm going to curl her lashes and she's never had this done before so she was a little freaked out. And the only reason why I am applying mascara is to hold up the falsies that she's going to be wearing. 
which again are the J-Lash, and I think this is probably the fifth time that I use them. I'm going to have to go buy another pair now. Um, and then here we're getting into the face makeup, and I'm priming with the e.l.f. primer, the green one. It's just about in every video I have lately. And here I'm using the Revlon Color Stay, and I believe that shade is medium beige. And it's perfect for her. Um for her skin tone um, and I'm taking that with a, the e.l.f. foundation brush and into her neck so that everything matches because her neck is very very pale and so are her shoulders so you want to make sure everything matches and I take just one coat of this she has beautiful skin there's no need to cover up too much just even things out uh, which is what I'm doing and then I'm going to set it as I did in my previous video with the Bare Minerals um, normal formula um, medium uh, powder and then concealing with the stroke of light again, again uh, Bare Minerals and I'm using a wedge it's stamp to blend that out So for her, because she's so light, um, that concealer was not used as a highlight, just to cover under the eyes. And here I am setting all of her foundation with the Bare Minerals um, powder, the actual minerals, with one coat. That gives, that gave her like a velvety finish. And here with the uh, Wet n Wild bronzer, that's from the Fergie collection, um, and a e.l.f. powder brush, I am applying the bronzer with that brush. And you can multi-use that brush, like it's going to go on her lower cheek uh, bones a little on her forehead, her hairline, and her jaw. And I'm using the highlight, another Fergie. Um, I'm using the flat kabuki brush by Echo Tools to apply that. And then here, the Mega Glow by Wet n Wild. I am using the darker colors, the darker shades, as a blush. And that is a uh, LA Colors blush brush. And in here, LA Colors, that's a little um, pigment, like a goldish pigment. Um, let's see if she'd let me put that under her eyes just a little bit, just to make it nice and interesting. And here with the beige um, e.l.f. eyeshadows that I like to use, the baked ones. I went all over her, her, her blush and her, her bronzer. That gives her a nice satiny look on her cheeks. And then for lipstick, the Wet n Wild, the pink one, um, and then the uh, Wet n Wild stain, the burgundy stain. And I am lining her lips with a Maybelline lip liner. It's a plum shade. And so she ends up with a sort of like a burgundy pinkish, if you will, lipstick color. And I felt it matched her eyes. And guys, that's where this ends. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one with the third triplet, I hope.